The Postal Service seems to exist in a perpetual state of uncertainty from one financial calamity to the next. Have you ever seen equipment being intentionally removed from facilities? Never, and I'm a mechanic. But Jonathan Smith, president of the Postal Union, representing some 5,000 clerks, maintenance workers, and drivers, says the U.S. Postal Service is facing a crisis like he's never seen in his three decades of service. One manufactured, he says, from the White House. The only reason that this is happening is because the president of the United States has decided to politicize the Postal Service. And when we are not a political entity. We do not deliver Democratic mail. We do not deliver Republican mail. We deliver all the mail. President Trump is using Postal Service funding as a bargaining chip, leverage, in his quest to get Democrats to agree to his demands on coronavirus legislation. My greatest advice to the American public is when you get your ballot, put it in the mail right away. But Democrats see cutting Postal Service funding, along with the removal of neighborhood mailboxes and processing equipment, as part of a larger assault against mail-in balloting, waged by the Trump administration and administered by the new Postmaster General, who is a major Trump donor and ally. Mailed ballots could be critical this fall during an expected resurgence of the coronavirus pandemic, and there's concern postal delays could mean millions of uncounted votes in November. They want $1 trillion to go to their friends doing a bad job running certain cities and states that are doing very badly. President Barack Obama says it amounts to pure voter suppression. What we've never seen before is a president say, I'm going to try to actively kneecap the Postal Service <laughs> to encourage voting, and I will be explicit about the reason I'm doing it. My greatest advice to the American public is when you get your ballot, put it in the mail right away. And the gist of what Jonathan Smith is saying is that procrastination is not going to be your friend as the deadline for mail-in balloting approaches. We're live in Midtown tonight. Jay Dow, Pix 11 News.